more Pokemon cards are here. We have the 2020 Fall Collector's Chest, I believe is what it officially is called, with treasures. See the promo cards and goodies and the five packs we'll be getting. Give you a look around. This does not have any Vivid Voltage packs, I believe, in it. I'm not entirely sure which packs are in it, but we will find out together. It is $25 at retail. And these, while well, you may not be able to find Champion's Path and such cards at Walmart Target, these are, I'm expecting to be readily available as they feature a few older sets and whatnot. Let's open it on up and see what we get. And first, right off the bat, I noticed we get a coin featuring Charizard. So first here are the three promos. Although it does not look like they're actual promos, they are taken from the Sword and Shield set and just given special art. Not art, actually, but hollow foil. And then the Charizard coin. There you go. And I believe PSA is now actually grading coins, so <laughs> in case you want to grade that coin, I'm, I don't know, it's tempting. It's a Charizard. It's going to be worth something, I'll tell you that. All right, so... Oh, so here's the empty tin or whatever. We also have some more goodies. Pikachu Charizard mini portfolio for Sword and Shield this year. Some nice stickers. Just some stickers. And a notepad. Alright. Some cool stuff there. And I was wrong. We do have at least one Vivid Voltage pack. Let's see. Let's see what we got exactly. It's good to know we got Sword and Shield, Burning Shadows, ooh, Sun and Moon, and Times 2 Vivid Voltage. So that is interesting. Interesting combination of packs. I was not expecting that to say the least. So let's, let's go oldest to newest as we usually do. Get some Sun and Moon going strong. Not expecting to open up this today, but here we are. Let's see. Got the code card for you, first of all. Then we've got Darkness Type Energy, Lolan uh, Persian, Switch Trainer Card, Boldor, Drowsy, Cutifly, Makihita, Snubble, Lolan Rattata. Ooh, Cosmolion Reverse Hollow, which is a rare. And a Hiryama, non hollow. Set those off to the side and move on to Burning Shadows. Set that is getting older and very expensive to find and open up. You know, booster boxes have gone up to like $300, so it's just kind of crazy to think about. We got Water Energy, Wiki Trainer Card, Lunatone, Gloom, Caterpie, Sandy Guest, Venipede, Sneasel, Lolan Vulpix, some pretty awesome artwork there, Panpour Reverse Hollow, and Tapu Fini GX. There we go. Not super familiar with all of the Sun and Moon cards, or Pokemon for that matter, the Ultra Beasts, but nice to pull and Ultra Rare. Now Sword and Shield base set. We'll go four from the back, and we start off with Metal-type Energy, Big Charm, so right there, there we go. All right, sorry, Seeking, Thwacky, Shelter. Mawile, Galarian Ponyta, Sobble, 
Maractus, Reboot Traverse Hollow, and a Snorlax V. Well, we got an Ultra Rare out of that pack. Unfortunately, I already have two, now three of them, but that's all right. We are on to Vivid Voltage. Whew, let's see what we can get. This set was just officially released yesterday. If I can open it up. Here is the code card. Features the new Amazing Rare cards, which I know they're going to be in the next set coming up next year, but I'm not sure how long they will continue Amazing Rares. I think they already have discontinued them in Japan. So we'll see. Darkness type energy start off then. Kakuna. Mumuchi is very cool new trainer card. Sableye. Fanpy. Duskull. Electric. Pinaco. Mudbray. Electric. Reverse Solo. And a Galarian Berserker. Non hollow rare. All right. Last pack here. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. So they're definitely a little tricky to open up. Some, some packs I've opened for Vivid Voltage have been easy and some have been very difficult. So it's really weird. They almost have packs in the same box coming from different factories. We've got Leaf Type Energy, Stone Energy, Electric, Kakuna, Trubbish, Shuppet, Choodle, Reelulu, Eevee, and you notice the centering is way off on these cards. There we go, Zero Aura, which is a rare electric reverse holo. And the final card in today's opening is another Togekiss V. That hurts just a little bit. This is only the second ultra rare card I've pulled from Viv Voltage in the, I guess, 10 now packs I've opened up from them. No, not 10. Yeah, 10. Um, and it's the only ultra rare card I've pulled. Well, that is disappointing, but oh well, we got a decent box. Very cool. New item you can purchase today and to get some new Viv Voltage packs. Stay up for me. There we go. So thank you guys for watching. I should have another video tomorrow if I can find some more Vivid Voltage products in stock. Otherwise, next weekend, I will see you with some more Champion's Path. See you guys then.